Neighbors in this quiet northwest neighborhood say something strange has been happening over the last several months. Pet cats have been disappearing at an unusual rate, and when one of those missing cats was found sick and dying miles away, they started sounding the alarm bells. The streets around White Coyote Place are quiet. The houses decorated for the holidays. However, some living here fear something ominous is happening in the dark of night. Tootie was 14 years old. Rebecca Smith um, says in mid-October, her cat Tootie went missing. And while canvassing the neighborhood, an odd pattern emerged. I'd heard some different people as I was looking for my cat say, you know, there's a lot of cats that are missing in our neighborhood that are going lost. It's just really strange. People like Heather Pelly and Brandon Bynum, who live nearby. Their cat, Jasper, went missing in May. Well, it's just kind of crazy because when this first started happening, when Jasper went missing, I thought cats run away, right? They then Bynum says here. he noticed traps in the neighborhood. It looked like a possum cage to me, and I didn't really think much of it. Bynum says his view of the cages changed <laughs> when a construction worker along US 95 found Smith's cat sick. And a month after Tootie disappeared, nearly 10 miles from her home. She says the Animal Foundation was forced to euthanize Tootie before she could be reunited because the cat was so ill. I had this high and then this low, something, oh my gosh, they found my cat, they found my cat. And then when she told me that they had to put him to sleep, I was just an emotional wreck. I was crying for two days. Smith plastered her neighborhood with warnings of a potential cat abductor and called 13 Action News to warn cat owners to keep them inside, joined by other grieving pet owners. At this point, we kind of know that he's not going to come back, but to not know what happened and to not know that he was, if he was okay or not, it's, it, it's been really rough. Smith says she will soon be filing a police report and while Metro says they have not yet received any reports of people trapping cats in this area, they're urging anyone with information to report it. Their animal cruelty unit stands ready to investigate. In the Northwest, I'm Sean Delancey.